Hey, welcome back to InfoGamer. For this tutorial series, we'll be taking a look at the new input system for Unity. Now that the new input system is no longer a preview package, but is actually published, it's safe to say that not too much will change with future updates. And so we can now do tutorials on the new input system and not have to worry about our videos becoming obsolete within only a couple months. Now in this video, we'll be going over how to set up and install the new input system for your Unity projects. But before we get started, make sure that you check out our website at www.infogamerhub.com. On our website, you can find all of our great tutorials and assets all in one place. Now let's get started. Now it's fairly easy to install the new input system for Unity. All you have to do is go up to the Windows drop down menu and then select Package Manager. When the Package Manager first opens, you might only see a few packages. And that's because it's showing you the current packages already installed in your project. To see the other available packages, you'll want to click on this drop down menu that says In Project and select Unity Registry. From here, you'll then want to find the Input System Package, which should say version 1.00 or later. This is actually the first version of this package that has been published for general use. All the previous versions of this package were less than one and were preview packages. Now with this package selected, you'll want to click the install button in the bottom right corner. This will install the package, which might take a few seconds. When it's finished installing, you may get a warning that says this project is using the new input system package, but the native platform backends for the new input system are not enabled in the player settings. This means that no input from native devices will come through. It then says, do you want to enable the backends? Doing so will restart the editor and will disable the old Unity input APIs. So I'm going to click yes, which will restart the editor and might take a few seconds. Once your editor is back up and running, the new input system should be ready to go. And now you can create new input actions by right clicking anywhere in your project window, going up to create, and then down at the bottom, select input actions. Hey, thanks for watching to the end of this video. If you learned something new, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you can be up to date with all our latest videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.